Back on Patriot League All Access, chatting with all the men's uh, soccer coaches in the Patriot League and the head coach at the United States Naval Academy entering his third season in Annapolis is Dave Brandt. Coach, appreciate you taking the time today. Thank you very much. Happy to be here, James. Thanks. Uh, as we get started uh, to talk about 2011, let's uh, talk a little bit about 2010 first. And as I mentioned, you're entering your third season at Navy, but your 15th overall as a head coach. Finished last year 7-5-4 and four overall. First uh, over 500 record for Navy in the last five years, 2-2-3 two, two, and three in the Patriot League, just narrowly missing the Patriot League tournament. Uh, and a, a remarkable feat, I think, and I, I think your program generated a bit of attention last year because finishing over 500 and having that success and finishing just outside the Patriot League tournament picture, doing so with a roster of 21 of 27 players which were either freshmen or sophomores. And uh, just talk about how the, the, the shape of the program has changed in the last couple of years since you've been there and, and some of the players that you've been able to bring in uh, and just what you have been able to accomplish as you look back on the first two years that you've been in Annapolis. Right. Well, I think for me, you know, it's always about uh, getting the culture of the program uh, wh where I'd like it to be, where I think it should be. And so, you know, whenever there's a, a head coaching change, that's always going to be kind of the first job. And so, you know, that's that's what we've been doing. It's what I believe is, is the most important thing about, you know, and I'm just talking about attitudes, action, you know, work ethics, habits, uh, just what the program's all about. And so, you know, those aren't X's and O's necessarily, or, or even 40 yards times or anything like that it's, it's more the other stuff and so we've been working hard on that we you know clearly we were disappointed to finish outside the uh the, the playoff spot last year i mean we held fourth place and kind of had controlled our own destiny going in the last game and weren't able to get it done so disappointment for us obviously gives us something to shoot for uh in 2011 um you're coaching at obviously one of the most unique places in division one soccer uh at the naval academy in annapolis uh, now that you've been there for a couple of seasons, how does the experience of coaching there kind of match up with maybe what you thought, what it would have been like to coach there maybe when you were an outsider a couple of years before? Right, right. Well, it, you know, it's a, it's a fascinating place, obviously, and uh, sometimes the way I describe it, there there are many layers of, of understanding of, of how to, uh, you know, function effectively in Division One athletics at a place like this. But, uh, no, it's a remarkable place, uh, very unique. Uh, it's hard for me, to be totally honest, to remember back to what I was expecting, uh, what I might have expected coming in here. But I knew it was uh, a unique and excellent opportunity, and it certainly has been just that. And so, uh, no, we're, we're functioning very well here. A lot of idiosyncrasies and interesting things to learn. You're right. That wouldn't be the case necessarily at other schools. Uh, but, you know, every school's got their particulars and, and that sort of thing. And obviously we may have a few more, but uh, uh, no problem to deal with those. And uh, looking forward to moving forward in that way. Uh, thoughts so far in the last couple of years in uh, coaching in the Patriot League? What's uh, What are some of your observations and, and uh, things that you've picked right. up along the way? Well, you know, the Patriot League, is, has, in men's soccer at least, has changed a lot in the last uh, eight to ten years. Uh, you know, I interacted with the Patriot League, at least uh, some schools in the Patriot League when I was at Messiah. Uh, you know, spring games, preseason games, this sort of thing. Knew some coaches, um, would occasionally see them play or play against them. And, you know, it's it's just a very good league right now. I, you know, I think right now all eight Patriot League teams uh, can play with anybody. I mean, that, that, that's clear. That's absolutely a given. Uh, can make noise against anybody in the country. Uh, they're very, it's obviously a very tight league. I mean, Everybody knows that, um, you know, where, where competition is, is very tough and very tight. But it's, you know, beyond that, it's an excellent level, and I think that's borne out by the fact that uh, the teams are doing very well in, in lots of big out-of-conference games, so it's an excellent league. Some of the, the, the thoughts outside of, of the Navy program uh, to observers watching, and they see your roster, and they see what's what you've been able to do as the head coach the last few years, and they just kind of see the the what's been transpiring the last few years. And I think some people, at least from the people that I've spoken to, have kind of earmarked this year as maybe a year that your program can make a big jump, get that Patriot League tournament spot first since 2001, and make some noise and and really do some things this season. From inside the program, do you feel the same way? 
Right. Well, you know, clearly that's that's a hope for everybody inside the program as well, as it would be for other Patriot League teams. I mean, it's the start of the season, and, and, and obviously there's high hopes for everybody around the league and lots of optimism, and, um, you know, Navy would, would be no exception. You know, it, it's hard for me to say. I mean, obviously it's a hope. Uh, you know, like I said, I, I think I'm very process-oriented. It's a process here. We, You know, this will be the first season that our team will be not fully half freshmen. Um, you know, do I think that'll be a help? Yeah, I think that'll be a help. You know, are we a little more experienced? Is it a little bit uh, easier, I think, to handle Division One athletics at the Naval Academy when you're not a freshman? Yeah, probably so. You know, will those things help? Well, we'll see. So, you know, I, I'm always cautiously optimistic. I guess that's a, a term uh, that, that I like to use because I am optimistic. But, you know, that's got to be peppered with, with a, a large dose of reality and uh, respect for uh, the magnitude to the task, uh, the abilities, obviously, of other teams and that sort of thing. So uh, no, I think we're set to uh, it's clearly to make it a good year for us, and we'll see what results. Let's talk about your uh, non-conference schedule coming up. Uh, you have some games against uh, VCU, Old Dominion, Richmond, UVA, and Delaware, some good uh, regional non-league games you have coming up. What's, uh, what's your philosophy when it comes to uh, scheduling these, these non-league games? Do you have uh, any kind of specific ideas that you bring going into it? Uh, so what's yeah. your philosophy? You know, the two that you didn't mention are Loyola and UMBC, which are both NCAA teams yep. uh, from last year that are out of conference games. Yep. So um, I, I prefer a tough out of conference schedule. Um, obviously, Patriot League is, is key for. Uh, you know, NCAA aspirations, and obviously because the league's important, um, and so, you know, my belief is a little bit more uh, tilted, I guess, towards playing the best uh, or the best that we can play or a tough schedule uh, as opposed to, you know, finding some way to make it easier so that, you know, our record is padded or, or whatever so that we have quote-unquote confidence. I'm not a big believer in that. I really kind of a big believer in substance over image, and I, I think you grow through playing uh, top teams, and, you know, I, I want our guys to experience what Division One soccer is, uh, and I don't want to kind of, you know, skirt through it um, by, by playing lesser teams, uh, not that there are, you know, maybe there aren't any, so it's a Division One either, but, no, I like to play a tough schedule. I think that's important for us, and I, I think this year's non-league schedule uh, will be just that. Dave Brandt is the head men's soccer coach at Navy, entering his third season in Annapolis, talking with us on Patriot League All-Access. Coach, thank you again for the time. Appreciate it. Good luck this season, and we'll chat with you down the road.